Hi there, once again welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to create a puzzle using PowerPoint. So this is what I've done. We can actually ungroup this and then move them separately. We can also convert this into a 3D if you want to. So what I'll do is that I'll walk you through everything step by step with no step skip. Okay, so let me just combine this again. We can actually group this like I said. And then even convert into what a 3d shape okay so let me just bring this together okay so this is a perfect puzzle and you can try that at the end of this video so i can select hold down control and you can select them together and then you go to shape format and then you can go ahead and then group this once this is done you can right click and then go to a shape format and you can choose to convert into a 3d if i go to my effects I have the 3d over here and i can start rotating it or there are several options you can pick from there are several 3d options here and you can also play around with this okay so we're going to learn a lot here on this channel subscribe to this your first time visiting my channel and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials so there are several effects we can use on this particular design okay so let's jump right into action and see how we can create this amazing 3d so what i'll do is i'll create a new slide and then we start from there i don't need these text boxes so i'll just delete them first so let me just take these text boxes off and then we are going to start we first need a rectangle so go to effect Go to shape and then pick a rectangular shape. We want both sides to be equal. So hold down shift whilst you create that. So this is going to give you a rectangle with a perfect edges. Okay. So that is exactly what we want. And we want to create the various components for the puzzle. Okay. So go back to your shape. And then I can pick the oval shape. Select the oval shape. And then hold down shift whilst I drag this in order to get a perfect circular shape okay now let's add a bit of component or a rectangular option to this select this and then let's drag this and then just try to create under shape into the oval shape we have to make sure we merge the two together but before that select all and then let's go to the alignment and make sure this is center aligned so this is what well placed in the center of this we have to merge the two together select again with your shape format tab selector you go to merge and then you go to what union so union will combine the two okay so now we cannot place this on top of this we have to make sure this is rightly placed in the center then we can select the two together go back to alignment and then select what center align center so this is going to be at the middle of this we need a copy of this if you look at this each puzzle is having two sides so we need to do that for this so in order to get a copy of this can copy this and paste or once this is selected press ctrl d and it's going to give you a copy of that now we want to rotate this and i'm going to place it inside it so select this and go to shape format and then go to our rotate we are using the rotate and let's use rotate left 90 degrees and now we can go ahead and then place this right here and you can zoom in whilst you work and then you can see how best you can do this well placed on top of this now we want to match the two together so select this and then this minus the other one so make sure you don't add this and I want to merge them together. Remember, we've already aligned them and we are sure they are perfectly aligned. So what we'll do is I'll go to your shape format and then go to the merge and I'll use union. So now these two are all placed. Okay. These two are all placed. And even before that, let me undo this. Make sure this is also placed at the middle of the rectangular shape before we unify this. So let's select this and then this separately we've already done for this so let's select this and then just this and make sure it's well aligned let's go to the alignment option and then we use what 
align middle okay so now this is aligned right in the middle of the rectangular shape now we can go back and then merge this to so select this and the rectangular shape go to the mesh shape and then use union now we now have this together with the rectangular shape but this is separated and what we're going to do is that and what we're going to do is that we're going to subtract this from this shape and then it's going to work perfectly for us we're going to have some part of this cut off so select this and then this shape and then we'll go back to shape format that's the tab go to mesh shape and then go to a subtract so as you can see now part of the shape is now gone okay and this is exactly what we want to achieve let me zoom out a bit and then we can now start getting the other component select this if you want to get a copy of this just press ctrl d and it's going to give us additional copy we can rotate this and then we can start placing them on each other okay so that is what we want to do that is what we want to do let me drag this down and then select this go to your shape format and then go to rotate and we can go to rotate right 90 degrees and then you can place this right on top and then you can see everything is well placed i'll move this down so you can see what i'm doing so this puzzle is working perfectly we need additional copy select this ctrl d to get additional copy remember to subscribe like share this video with friends i'm going to show you how to do amazing stuff with powerpoint and also animation and other it related stuff so go back and then rearrange this go to rotate and now let's change this to rotate right 90 degrees and we can also place this right here you see everything is well placed we need additional copy of this select ctrl d and it will give you additional copy let's rotate this again go back to rotate make sure you're using the shape format tab and then go back here and then rotate it and we can place this right here everything is well positioned and everything is well aligned what we'll do is we change the colors for each of the parts of this puzzle select this and you can go to your shape fill and then pick a color for that okay so you can pick a color for that i actually give you an outline to this if you want to if you check this there's some white outline around this if you want to do that you can go ahead select them individually and go to shape format and then you can use a full color and then you can give them a color of your choice okay so just play around with this and then pick a color that you want to use so i'm using the shape fill and then i'm trying to go ahead and then use colors that i prefer to use okay so just go ahead and then just play with this so i'm just using the fill color you can also use any color of your choice okay so i'm actually done with this like i said you can use any color if you want to use outline select and then go make sure the shape outline is checked i'll just give the white outline to each of them so just play with that you can change the color anytime you want to it's the white outline and i'll do that for all okay so this is how to create the 3d and we can remove them we can remove the individual and then also place them back okay so this is how to do it and then now once this is done we can actually group them so go ahead and then select all or press ctrl select each and every one individually and then you can go back to the shape format and go to group and then group them so you can see now we have one shape like that we have one shape and then we can convert this into what a 3d if you want to ungroup then just go back there and then go to ungroup so if you choose to convert this into a 3d you can just go ahead and then do that so let's try and then play around with this and then convert this into a 3d shape so select all right click and then or you can just go to shape format and then let's make this back and over here you can see we have shape effect you can just by any of these 3d shift from here and just play with that you have the 3d rotate 
you can play with this right here and see how amazing this is going to look like so like subscribe for more of my video and don't forget to turn on post notification because i'm going to be teaching you a lot of tricks a lot of tips right here on this channel so like come away again always like share and then comment on this video so like come away again bye bye